Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Uh, nice to see everyone again, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you once again for all the nice comments, likes, subscriptions, etc. on my previous videos. Fantastic to see you and I really appreciate the support as always. Uh, so this is country spotlight number two. Last week we did a spotlight on Germany, which was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about Germany, which hopefully I can remember going forward for future quizzes. And let it not be said that I'm not a man of my word. Uh, I put up the poll uh, with six options of, uh, to choose from for country spotlight number two, and you, my fans, have chosen Togo. So without further ado, we are gonna go into this little sliver of a country called Togo on the Gulf of Guinea between Ghana, Benin, and uh, just to the south of Burkina Faso. And we're gonna learn something about Togo. Um, I am going to be honest, I have not been to Togo before. Uh, I have no plans to go to Togo in the future, although I think it would be pretty cool. Um, and I don't know much about Togo. I could have gone away and done some research, but I haven't. I'm going in completely blind with what I know before Togo came up on the poll. And uh, maybe we can learn something as we go along in the quiz. We have, I think, five quizzes here. Uh, we'll see how many we can get through, uh, but most of them are fairly short, so um, we'll just get straight into it. So, Togo, nice to meet you. Can you pick the correct item for each category? This is only a 30 second quiz, uh, 10 items, it's a clickable one. Uh, so we've got region, I am not sure. Uh, cities, I know Lome is a city. I'm going to guess Centrale is a region. A plateau could be a region. Uh, Maritime could be a region. And Savannah, is that like Savannah? No. Uh, border countries will be Ghana and Benin and River. So we've got one more region, one city and a river. Uh, let's say Mono is the river. Uh, Sokode could be, no, Sokode must be the city. Okay, that's not too bad. That's 80% to start. That is a good start. So let's just quickly review. Ghana and Benin, we know the neighboring countries. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, regions were Savane, Plateau, Centrale, and Maritime. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, I'm sure I clicked Savanes for a um, region, but maybe I could have clicked over to city. Uh, cities, we have Lome, Sokode, and Kapalime, and River is Mono. Okay, so already I have some names in my head now. Well, let's move on to the Togo Physical Geography Quiz. We have three minutes for this one here. And I think we are gonna be given physical geography specimens and we will have to uh, place them on the map. So let me just make that a little bit smaller. I guess the bad thing about Togo is it's quite narrow and skinny, which makes it a bit <laughs> difficult. Okay, so we've got the Oti Plains. Or the first one was the Sio River. Uh, the Oti Plains, Togo Mountains. The Oti River, which I guess will be by the Oti Plains. Uh, the Kara River, the Mono River, which was possibly the longest, because it was the only one on the previous quiz, Any River and the Gulf of Guinea, and Mu River, Sia River. Okay, well we know the Gulf of Guinea is going to be in the Atlantic Ocean here, so that's an easy one. There was only one mountains, so let's go ahead and click these are the mountains, which is excellent. Now, what do we have? We've got seven more answers. We've got Oti River, Kao River, Mono River, Ani River, Amu River, Sia River, and the Oti Plains. Okay, so we should be able to get the plains well enough. That's a river, 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 that's a river. Where are these plains? Those could be some plains. It's the only thing that's not a river. And then I'm going to guess just a hunch that the Oti River might be by the Oti Plains. Let's see. Correct. Okay. Now, what other clues do we have to go on? We know the, was it the Mono River was the one in the other quiz, was that right? Okay, so maybe that's the longest one. Which is the longest? That looks pretty long. These ones look shorter. So yeah, let's say this is the Mono River. It is, fantastic, that's great news. And then the other ones, to be honest, are just gonna be a crapshoot. Pure guessing, but we have a one on four chance. So let's say, I don't even think we can work this out linguistically because, okay, well there's one that starts with, no, there's done which start with M. Any, Amu, Sio, and Kara. Okay, well let's just say this one is the Kara River. Nope, the Kara River was further up. Let's say it's the Ani River. Nope, that's the Ani River. The Amu River? Nope, that's the Amu River. 
and this was the Sea River. So still six out of nine. There were a few gimmies in there which, um, you know, aren't terrible. You'll take them if you get them. Cool. Uh, let's do the Togo quiz next. Oh, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Let's make this a bit bigger again. Okay, so official name. Uh, Republic of Togo. Let's try that. Let's make it. Maybe it's just Togo? No. Uh, okay, we have seven minutes for this. So, this is similar to the country quiz we did for Germany the other day. Um, 50 questions. Some of them will be quite obvious, some of them we won't know. Um, can I make it a little bit bigger still? Oh, gosh. Sorry, bear with me. I'm completely. Well, now I'm doing the brightness again. That's what I want. Uh, Cool, okay, hopefully you can see that past my camera. Let's do the ones we know. So flag color is gonna be black, no, not black, white, green, gold, and red. President, no idea. Prime Minister, no idea. Motto, no idea. National Anthem, no idea. Capital City, Lome. Independence Day, no idea. Independence from France. Oh, and the currency is the West African franc, which is fantastic. Second largest city. Did we say there was a Sokode? There was a Sokode. Perfect. What was the third largest city? Did we have another city? I can't remember. Uh, most popular sport, I'm going to say football. Uh, primary continent is Africa. Bordering country, we did Benin, Ghana, and Burkina Faso. And bordering bite is the bite of Benin as well, apparently, which is fantastic. Highest point. Not sure. Lowest point. Sea level. Maybe the Bay of Bengal? No, not Bengal. What are you talking about? It's the Gulf of Guinea. Oh dear. Oh, that's the bordering Gulf. The lowest point should be sea level if it's zero meters. I'm not sure what they want from me here. Uh, largest religious domination. Is it just going to accept Christianity? It is. Nationality will be, I think it's Togolese, right? Perfect. Primary language will be French. Bordering ocean will be the Atlantic Ocean. Age of suffrage, 18. Cool. Drives on the right. Drives on the left. Wow, didn't know that. Our longest river, was that the Mono River? Was that right? Oh no, I've forgotten already. Disaster. There was the Oti Plains. Oh, the Oti River was actually longer than the, um, was it the Mono River was the other one, right? Or am I completely forgetting stuff? Okay, number of regions. I saw four regions. Uh, five. So there must have been one which was missing from the other quiz. So maybe uh, largest state. What did we have? We had Centrale. Maritime. Maritime is the smallest. Uh, what else did we have? We had... Um, Plateau, was that one? That was a state, right? Plateau, perfect. So we also got the largest state. Largest stadium, no idea. Largest desert, uh, do we have any of the Sahara Desert? We do, maybe just like a little bit in the corner, perhaps by the OT Plains. Largest lake, not sure. Largest dam, I think I saw something like Aqua, but I might have been wrong. There was like a moo as well, that was a river, right? Largest lagoon, no idea. Largest cathedral. I've got an idea with that one. Internet country code, TG. Perfect, national animal. We'll try a few standard animals. Lion, my next guess was elephant. Uh, national flower, I'm not sure. National bird, eagle, crane, uh, peacock, no, heron, crow. End of foreign occupation, so I'm guessing this would have been in the six, early 60s. I don't know for sure. Maybe the um, late 50s then, because I think France decolonized most of West Africa a little bit earlier than Britain did. Oh, well, maybe it was much later then. I mean, we're going to be able to get this, it's just a case of... No, this can't be right. I don't believe it. 
Unless it's like German occupation or something. Huh, I don't understand that one. That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, uh, largest cathedral. Let's try some saints. Saint Paul, Saint Joseph, Saint Matthew, Saint Patrick, Saint George, Saint David. Uh, this might have an S at the end of it, actually, come to think of it. I can't remember any more of the cities. Still, we've got 32 out of 50, which is 64%, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, official name. This might be the Togolese Republic. I have heard that before. Amazing. I'm so proud of that. Largest stadium. National stadium. It was worth a shot. Olympic Stadium. Lome Stadium. Um, what is this year? I don't think I'm going to get any or anything else apart from the, the flower. Let's, oh, it was the rose. Look at that. <laughs> uh, right. End of foreign occupation. I mean, I don't know when Togo was... Repub um, was uh, gained independence. I think like Cote d'Ivoire gained independence pretty early and so did Ghana, which was from the UK obviously. Um, so maybe there's like a glitch here. One thing this quiz doesn't have is uh, Togo actually has an Olympic medal, which not many smaller African countries can boast. They have a kayaker who won a silver, I think, in the slalom in Beijing. Um, I forget his name, it starts with B, like Butkepi or something like that. Uh, he had only visited Togo a couple of times, he had a Togolese father but he lived in France. Um, but yeah, good on him, he was able to represent Togo, they selected him and the man came out with a silver medal. Okay, motto, um, in Togo we trust, we love Togo, nope, four minutes, no, what do we, um, Okay, oh, uh, wow, they have uh, interesting names here. So, Faru Nasingbe. Uh, this is similar to like Ghanaian names, kind of, which is unsurprising given Ghana is just next door. Motto is Travail, Liberty, and Patri. So, that's Liberty and something else. National anthem, Tia de Nos Ayu. April 27th. I mean, I could have got that if I'd guessed 300, if I just guessed every country. 1914, end of foreign occupation. What does that mean? Doesn't make sense, because Togo wasn't independent in 1914. Unless it was kind of the end of a Togo colony, and then it became part of, like, French West Africa. Hmm, it's interesting. Uh, Kara, Kapalimi... I think Kapalimi was the one we had in the other quiz. Atak Kapami, Mount Agu, we saw in the last quiz we did. I just couldn't pull it. Star de Kigu, Lake Togo. That would have been worth a guess. Um, Adjo Alec Dam, Kata Lagoon, Sacred Heart Cathedral. National Bird is the Hammercop, which I've not heard of. Okay, uh, now we have this little fun quiz, which looks great. <laughs> um, nice visually uh, appealing. We've got six foods, and we're going to try and identify them. So we've got riz sauce, arachide, rice, and which is rice and peanut sauce. We have chicken and peanut sauce, perhaps chicken and uh, arachide. Fufu, which is a thick yam porridge. We've got koklo mami, which is spicy grilled chicken. Uh, Akpan, which is fermented maize yogurt and akumi, which is corn flour and kielbasa sauce. So this one looks to me like it is spicy grilled chicken. It's a little hard to see here, isn't it? Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit further. Uh, fermented maize yogurt. I mean, this one looks like rice. This looks like meat and sauce. So as does this one, this looks like meat and sauce and vegetables. Uh, so rice and peanut sauce, chicken and peanut sauce, well this one could be chicken right, it looks like chicken bones. 
thick yam porridge. Let's go with this one. This looks like thick porridge. Fermented maize yogurt, corn flour and kvassa sauce, and riz sauce, rice and peanut sauce. Let's go with this one as rice and peanut sauce. And then maize yogurt, I'm thinking is this one, and corn flour and kvassa sauce. Perfect. I don't know how many Togolese restaurants um, there are around me. I don't think I've really had West African cuisine much, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, no, it looks good. A bit heavier on the rice and the chicken and the peanuts and the corn flour, uh, which for someone who doesn't really eat meat and uh, <laughs> is allergic to peanuts, it's uh, perhaps not the best cuisine, but uh, I'm sure I could make do. The rice looks pretty good. Uh, how do I make this big again? Oh gosh, I'm having a meal today. Right, and finally we've got Kenyan and the largest countries of the Togolese diaspora. So countries where Togolese citizens migrate to. So without further ado, let's get into this one. So I'm just going to try and make it a little bit bigger again. There, oh, that's too big. Uh, great, hopefully you can see that. You should be able to. Okay, so we've got the continent here, which is fantastic. Let's do Togo's Neighbours first, I think. Uh, Benin. We should be able to get 100% on this. Burkina Faso. I reckon Nigeria will be here. Oh, Nigeria is there. I reckon Nigeria. I reckon Cote d'Ivoire will be there. I reckon Guinea. Considering the lowest answer one on this is only 191, we should uh, pretty much... Anytime somebody moves from Togo to another country, it should be on here. It's just whether it's documented or not, I guess. Cameroon, 100%. No, wow. Mali. Uh, so if Niger was there, then Chad might be here. Morocco. Uh, Senegal. Gambia. Okay, let's do European countries now, because they seem to feature quite prominently. So France should be first. Uh, Netherlands. Germany. Italy. Spain. UK. Sweden. Norway. No, not Norway, but Denmark, right? No. Poland, Russia, Ireland, Greece. Greece is quite a popular destination for African migrants. Turkey, uh, Switzerland, Austria, Hungary, Czechia. Ah, Belgium will be this one between Italy and Switzerland shortly. Yeah. Right, we're Africa, North, two North Americans, which should be USA and Canada. You've got an Oceania one, which should be Australia. Cool, and the rest, uh, oh, there's one Asian one, Japan maybe, or Israel, India, Singapore, South Korea. Okay, so let's just do a quick stock take. We've got Africa, 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 Asia. So let's do as many African ones as we can. Uh, so we said Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Sierra Leone, which is the bane of my life after my attempt to name all the countries in the world in under two minutes. South Africa. How about South Africa? No. Namibia. Zambia. Zimbabwe. Equatorial Guinea. No. Cape Verde. That seems quite appealing. Uh, Sao Tome. No, okay. Uh, Gabon. Yes, excellent. French speaking, probably was from, had quite close colonial links. Uh, Sudan, South Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda, uh, Mali, did I say Mali? Mauritania. Okay, so we've got Africa, 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 and Asia. Madagascar, Eritrea, Tanzania, Kenya, okay, Kenya's there, Angola, Mozambique, Botswana, Tunisia, Algeria, Libya, Central African Republic. Yep, I feel pretty good about that one, given it's also French. Republic of the Congo, perfect. And then we've got one Asian country. Now you get to watch Simon, uh, well, sorry, refer to myself in the third person, uh, me try and name all the countries in Asia in less than a minute. Um, Saudi, oh, UAE perhaps, right? They have a big immigrant population. 
Victor Bahrain Kuwait Jordan Syria Lebanon Iraq Iran Afghanistan or Pakistan Afghanistan India Maldives Sri Lanka Taiwan China China okay there it is and we ended with 100% so thank you very much for everyone who suggested and voted for Togo I feel like I learned a lot uh, I know that the longest river in Togo is the Oti River and which is just south of the Oti Plains uh, I know the largest cathedral is called the Sacred Heart Cathedral I know the second largest city in Togo is Togo is called Sokole uh, and I know that the uh, largest lake is Lake Togo and what else do I know but apparently it became independent in 1914 which I still dispute anyway uh, maybe there's some explanation you could provide in the comments that would be fantastic uh, to enlighten me and your fellow viewers uh, the quiz for the country spotlight number three is going to go up tomorrow probably uh, I'm going to go back to Europe for the next one uh, so I'll have three or four European countries well, four or five European countries for you to choose from uh, vote for your country or vote for the country you'd most like to see me um, see me do uh, and yeah we'll have a few more videos out this week as well including a really really awesome history video I found which or history quiz I found which is um it's worth waiting for it should be fun anyway thank you very much again we'll see you next time kakite bye